Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 147 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are Filkir Sigurdar Ring, the insane immortal disfigured ruler of all of Scandinavia, and we're at war. It's a great holy war with this guy, Caliph Mubarak II the Wise. Um, he's got tuberculosis and he's also been severely injured. It appears that he's lost an eye. He also has 100% decadence and we're knocking down his doors. So basically, he's fucked. Well, not fucked because, I mean, he owns all of this land here, but we're taking Egypt from him. He does have this large army here, which is currently moving up from Giza into Katara. But we've got uh, Yom Vikings coming down to assist. So he should stop his movement. Or if he plows ahead, well, that's going to be funny. Because I think we'll have him. We are going to have a supply issue for about three days before he actually shows up. Bam, here we go. All right, let's look at this. So he's got, he isn't a great, well, it's only one of the Sultans. Why aren't you leading from the front yourself, mate? Come on. Anyway, his advantage is that he has this guy here. This guy is a fucking genius, literally. And look at that. He's very good. Not even assassinatable. Bit of a shame. Anyway, so that's happening. Uh, I'm hoping that we hit stay up. Yep, looks like. Hang on a second, we want another siege over here. Ah, one of the four, one of the uh, fools. So that's good. We move these guys out here to Farama because that's still part of Egypt. And if we win this battle, actually, which we've just taken that flank, we've just taken the center. Yep, we got him. Looks like we actually killed one of our dudes too. That's only 3.4, so that's fine. Um, just going to quickly assault this holding. So maybe we can... Yep, so now we've actually got a proper non-shitty attrition here. These guys are going to Tobruk, so they're headed up that way. Some of them, however, are headed to Giza. 5,000 of them are headed to Giza. So I'm going to take the 9,000 man army and send that to Giza with them. And we'll see how that goes. We're at 89, we're at 96% because we just won two more sieges. And in fact, no, you still have some more sieges to do here, boys. Get on that. They might not be doing it because of his battle, which is going on. Yeah, wonderful. We have a peace offer. It is a surrender. All right, let's hope the game doesn't fuck up. A bit unusual that they surrender, like, now, but... I guess they're looking at it and saying, hey, look, he's going to take El Alamein in like a second. And there's nothing we can do to stop him in Alexandria. There's literally nothing you could do to stop me anyway. Come on, game. After this, we should really buy those extra cavalry regiments that we were looking for. Come on. Anytime. Look, it's a big kingdom, all right? It's no it's no Andalusia, but it's a big kingdom. So this is kind of expected. There we go. We won. The successful Great Holy War for E. Yeah. All right, so now we own that. Good on us. Um, first things first. Put down all the troops. Put down the hired troops. 
that's for holy order basically um, another thing I want to do is I want to get this liege levy here in these boats so new unit not them I want this liege levy and we dismiss that I don't care that only some of them can return to port all right good times you guys get up here you guys can stay there for the moment um, you do need a new commander thank you you guys have all your commanders uh, she's doing even better 30 she is insane though well that just means i like her more right so we need to um, divest ourselves with some holdings because that's a a lot of shit. Oh, we also need to um, give this child a guardian. I've been neglecting him since the end of the last episode, so we better actually do that. Great. All right. Let's get to work on this admin. Is that place literally called Sin? Yeah. Huh. Great name for a mosque. Like, come on, guys. All right, so we're just going to divvy up all of these places nice and quick. I mean, get rid of all the secondary holdings. Like, of everywhere. I know why there isn't a button which you can just say, you know, get rid of all secondary holdings, because, you know, it'd be way too easy to fuck that up. But I kind of wish there was. Oh, hell yeah. We've still got a few um, holdings of the Sultanate of Medina in here. That's interesting. That's the Hashemid Sultanate. Where are you boys at? No, no, I didn't want your Dijul holdings. I wanted your... Huh. Interesting. He's probably a member of the... Yes, he is. Oh, that's cool. Him having two of them isn't too much of an issue because when we eventually go to war to get those back, we'll get both of them at the same time because it's for all county holdings, if I remember correctly, and I probably do. All right, come on. So after we get rid of all the secondaries, we just need to have a look at the duchies. We've got enough money to make the duchies, and that's a priority over the cavalry retinue that we were looking at getting. Because it helps us manage things a little bit easier. I'll tell you what, some of these places are amazing. It does remind me that some new DLC also came out for um, Europa Universalis today as well, today being the 17th still. Um, I made a comment earlier about Jade Dragon coming out for um, CK2 and how it made an issue with the save games. Not too worried about that right now, but um, what was I saying? Um, hang on, how the fuck do we suddenly own this? This isn't part of Egypt. Okay, I guess this is suddenly part of Egypt. Wow. Oh, and hey, they're building a um, temple holding there as well. Nice, that'll give us some more uh, piety when it gets done. <laughs> awesome. Uh, anyway, um, new expansion for new DLC expansion for Europa Universalis 4. Um, I believe it was called Cradle of Civilization. It's basically concentrated around the Cradle of Civilization, the Middle East. And um, apparently it makes the Islamic countries a bit easier to play, a bit more interesting to play. So that's a cool thing. All right. Let's look at some duchies. So first of all, the obvious one down here, Elodia. So only two of these places had a... Um, guy so what we'll do is we'll give the barons their counties so that was senna there it is senna and we had a guy over here in elodia itself so we grant him elodia there it is 
Okay, now let's see. Yeah, whatever. Um, du jour, the Emirate of Elodia, we cannot usurp that because this fellow is at war. A lot of wars. So we're just going to give one of these guys the other county, just to get rid of it. So it's probably going to be this guy. So grant him, what's the other county here? Costi? Costi. There we go. Congratulations. All right. Um, we've got Aswan. Can we steal Aswan? Nope. Because this guy is at war. Specifically a Buddhist uprising and a Yazidi revolt. That's this guy's problem. That's fine. Cool. All right, that just means we got to um, do what we were doing anyway. So that's the county of Aswan. Here it is. We don't have one there. We do have one here. And Totil of Thebes gets Azut. There it is. All right, now we look at which one of those is best. So he's fairly average. He's not as he's not as average, I guess you'd call it. So he's going to get um, the county of Quena and also the county of Baharia. Wonderful. All right, let's have a look up here. The place doesn't have a thing. This one does. So Ova, you're going to get Alexandria. Which is there. And in fact, you're going to get all four of those places. So, El Alamein. Katera. Or Katara. And Giza. There it is. Very good. Okay, and actually, could we take that? Hang on a second. I didn't actually check to see if we could usurp that. We cannot because he is at war. Yeah, fair. What about the Duchy of Cairo? Hey, we can create the Duchy of Cairo. Let's do that right now. Okay, so these places both do have a, um, a guy in them. Our first guy is Eskild. Now, we're not going to individually give these ones over because that would weaken somebody a lot. So he's good at stewardship. And our guy here is average at everything. So we'll give it to the guy who's good at stewardship. Hang on, that was a city. We wanted this guy. That's killed. So you are now the Jarl of Cairo and all that entails. Congratulations. All right, let's do the same thing up here. So this one, we've actually got two baronies in. So we've got Haston, Average, and we've got Tost. Tost is pretty good, so we're going to grant him the land and title of Manapura. With all lowers included. Now again, these places all have a lot of stuff in common, but if we can grab the duchy... Let's see. We can. We're just going to give it over to him immediately because fuck it. Wasting enough time on this already. Duchy of... There we are. Come on. Thank you. Okay, and I believe that just leaves the Sinai Peninsula. Which has... No... Um, things. So I believe we had a son who was getting really annoyed. I think it was this guy. Yeah, broken title promises. That's fine, buddy. You're going to get a title. Congratulations. You're now the Yarl of Sinai. Fuck off. Out of my court. 
Still going to have that negative against me, but, you know, whatever. Okay, and we're back at parity. Yay. All right, so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go raid people. Because, you know, it's what we do. Um, we are going to buy more, what do you call it? Cavalry units. We needed nine. I don't think we're going to get nine. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two. We are one short. So just gather them up, take myself out of a fucking army. And then we'll take that force up north, join them up again, and then we can bring them back down or whatever. Uh, for the meantime, though, we're kind of reliant on finding rebellions, like this one up here. Because, well, we've got a truce with the one guy who isn't in the defensive pact. So that's somewhat, uh, I know he just joined the defensive pact. Good on him. Good to see. Asshole. All right, but these guys are actually going to go raid his places because it's kind of funny. Whereas you guys hop in a boat. And we'll take the boat up north. Yeah, look, see, the Byzantines just took that damned land. Pricks. All right, go and dock all the way up there again. And I believe we just got enough money where we can buy that last cavalry unit. Done. Join them up, take myself out of the army, take everybody out of that army, actually. That is entirely not useful. All right, so I can actually get rid of our um, my little list that I've had here for a long time. Oh, also, I'm not too sure if I can do this just yet. What does it take to destroy that? Succession type, not gavel kind. Right. I believe elective gavel kind is still going to count as gavel kind. Can we take this to primogeniture? Let's see, let's see. No, we need high crown authority. What about Ultimo? All of the following must be true, or limited, medium, high, or absolute. All right, pump it up to there. Come on, vert it in. Thank you. Now we want Ultimo Geniture in the Empire of Hispania. So all ultimogeniture is, we actually literally just change that there, that's cool. All ultimogeniture is, is that, um, what the fuck do you mean succession type is not gavel kind? Must be talking about the main one. Well, this sucks. How much would it cost me? 800 prestige. You know what? Fuck it. We were going to get rid of it anyway, so I'm just going to run a quick Google search. Uh, let's see. Console, command, destroy, title. Oh, what do you know? It suggested CK2 as the thing. No console command to destroy titles. All right, let's just have a quick check of this. If not, we may console it to change our um, main succession law because, I mean, we've kind of been meaning to do that. I'm not too sure that we want to change it to, um, let's see, can't seem to find someone with console command to destroy a title. What? Well, that's dumb. Give it to someone who hasn't existed yet in history. Wow. All right, look, we'll research that between episodes because uh, 
I mean, you've already sat through like 15 minutes of admin work, so. I'm being nice. Trying to be nice anyway. Whole bunch of people declaring conquest on Gabe's. I mean, all of these are just for his thing. They're all gonna like lose it at some point. You know that, right? Still got this guy hanging out. Is he the only Catholic left? Oh no, there's some more Catholics up there. Of course. Speaking of, yeah, oh, like three years and we can have another crusade. That'll be fun. Actually, a little worried that the um, these guys can call a jihad at some point. At any point, really, now. What do we need? We need a new commander. So, a little worried that that'll come at me. In fact, it probably should. Hmm. I'll have to look up the jihad waiting. All right, so next target, obviously we just have to wait for our threat to go away for long enough, which is a bit of a pain, but you know, sometimes you just got to wait things out. We'll leave our threat to go away or for these um, wonderful little rebellions to happen. Hey, click, click, thank you. So there is a small rebellion up in Poland right now. Um, I don't think that that rebellion's going anywhere. Also, I don't think they own much stuff that I care. Oh, they own a bit up there. That could be interesting. Do a quick conquest to grab that. Where are the boats? Oh boy, up there. That's fine. They really should join up with these guys before anything else. Fuck off. Fuck off. Cool. Finished studying the economy. Ah, we can hold a blot. Uh, let's do that. We've got plenty of people to sacrifice. And a special tithe in Upland. That's wonderful. In fact, that will let us buy some more shit. Like a militia training ground. What else? Yeah, our skull training ground would be fine. Yeah, nice. All right. Guests have arrived. Good, join up. Okay, you did that annoying thing where you join up incorrectly. So one, two, three. One, two, three. That should all be balanced just fine. Wonderful. Hop back on the boat. I'm going to send you down to here. Chop chop. Uh, my wife has contracted syphilis. So Yes, yeah, she does actually have syphilis, so poor thing, I will do what I can for her. Or surely there's another reason. So, you know, the poor thing. Ah, we're taking good care of her. Chop chop. Where'd you get syphilis from? Chop chop. That should be all of the chopping. Yeah, let the celebrations begin. Somebody was fucking a serving girl. Somebody got drunk. Vienne converted to Germanic. Siege of Durham. Oh, yeah, that one down here. We looted that one successfully. How many troops does the Byzantine bloke have? 57,000. We could totally take something from Byzantium next time we get a crusade. Hell, we should just do like Holy Wars for Serenica and Tripolitania just to get our um our goddamn shit together. 
We could actually just do du jour claims, I think. Yeah, we actually have du jour claims on the lot because it is du jour part of our shit. I mean, we won't because I don't feel like fighting off the entire fucking known world. But, you know, it's a possibility. Hmm, interesting. Good times. Okay, you guys can start moving in. Wonderful. Now, note we haven't declared war yet. I know that. Good. Blot ended. Sometimes if you declare war, when there's a feast going on, it ends the war. Okay, the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre has been founded. Sepulchre? Uh, the Brotherhood has worked tirelessly to protect Christian holy sites and relics in the Holy Land it was ever since it was first founded in 313, when the Edict of Milan legalized Christendom throughout the Roman Empire. Till recently, the Brotherhood consisted of ordained clergy who maintained and safeguarded these religious sites through largely peaceful means. Uh, as winds of change sweep across the world, this holy order has now become increasingly militarized. Sorry. Uh, and their ranks have grown dramatically to include professional soldiers as well. They've reaffirmed their dedication to protect the Holy Land from heathen invaders. That's me. But this pledge now is extended to include the defense of all of Orthodox Christendom. So that's an Orthodox Holy Order, I believe. Which is interesting. Anyway, uh, we're declaring war on this lady right now. Um, it's not going to be a Holy War. It's just going to be a du jour claim on Podlacy. Done. There's our initial fight. We're going to punch through. This guy needs a guardian. Looks for like one for the military. Punch. Grand. Um, are we going to punch these other ones as well? I mean, we probably should. The Caliph wants to get a betrothal thing going down. Uh, buddy, no. I mean, to start with, I'm fairly sure that you're having significant issues there. Oh, hey, we should look into usurping the, or creating the Duchy of Tunis, sorry. Also, we should create the Kingdom of Egypt because, well, we are the King of Egypt. All right, let's make the Duchy of Tunis. And give it to this guy. There it is. You get all of that, buddy. Congratulations. Haven't cut down on any of those wars. All right, punch. Fifty tech points from Constantinople. That's been a while. Well, it went to economy. That's good. Um, we can advance something else, though. Let's advance cavalry. And what can we advance down here? I don't care about tolerance. Uh, Majesty is all right. Yeah, let's get Majesty. That's fine. Cool. Well, they even fighting. Weird. My guys, probably. Alright, excellent. Now we head down here to this one. Ooh, 140 out of that one. Nice. These guys need new commander, though. Poor than will do. Had some good looting. Some very good looting, actually. You dude. 
there, that's fine. I'm going to say military for you, young lady. Flesh is weak. 50 more tech points. Economy again, very nice. I think we're looking to upgrade our keeps, though. Cool. All right, we're going to punch these places through because, well, that makes it easier for us. He inherited Aragon. And he inherited, inherited Connacht. Connacht, yeah, that place in Ireland. Punch it. Okay, now. It's only giving us 99 because we haven't won a war. A battle, sorry. But if we punch it again, we'll have 100% occupation. And also, she's just offered as a peace deal anyway, so. Done. Now we pop out. Um, we need to give this to somebody who it would be appropriate to give it to. So. Oh, can we create a new? Yes, we can. The Duchy of Yatavin, that one. So yes, that's currently held by a chief, that's fine. Create, do it. Give everything to this guy. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna get these guys out of here and set them to raid. Um, I need someone to help me in my next scheme. A wonderful book has been discovered by a close friend of mine, but he refuses to give or sell it to me. Demand help. Ask someone nicely about help. Bribe someone to help. Or don't think anyone wants to help me, which gives us a content trait, which we don't want. Content sucks. So if we demand help, we get help from this woman who we are holding in prison. If we ask nicely for help, we get it from this woman here. If we bribe somebody help, we get it from that one. Um, let's ask nicely about help. Because that way we're not asking a prisoner for help. It's probably back up at 100, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, well, they made this one my heir. Awesome. And now they made this one my heir. I need to vote for my heirs. Um... Yeah, look, he's probably the best for the job. Sure, so what was his name? Porfin Hrolfason. Ah, do it by name. Actually, was that... That was a weird P as well, so he's probably up at the top. Or down at the bottom. Or where P's are. Well, this is embarrassing. Where the fuck is he? I mean, I'm not wrong. It's definitely after... Oh, there's a kid here called Ragnar. That's kind of cool. R's. Then it goes straight to S's. Ah. Here we are. Apparently it's after T's. So who was he? Porfin Rolfeson. This guy. Done. All right. And with that, um, we've managed to get our dudes out here. So we'll set them to raid. And then we're going to set them to, I guess, rampage around Bohemia. for No, they've got a few dudes. Um, we could set them onto the Nitrons. That'll be funny. All the poles. Or Bulgaria. The cuckoo of Bulgaria. That means somebody's nailing his wife. Ah, 
How many troops do you have? Yeah, not enough. Okay, we're going to send them around to Bulgaria. That'll be funny. Um, we might as well just ship the boat around here as well. Yeah, good times. All right, with that, we are going to end the episode, though. We've gone a little bit over time. So in the meantime, I've been Sub. You've been yourselves. Later.